So let's start with learning how not to apply a nipple shield. So you don't put it just on directly like that without trying to draw the nipple into the shield because when baby latches, they can either pinch the tip or pinch the silicone tip or pinch your nipple tip. And that's very painful and can lead to inadequate milk transfer. Okay, so in order to draw the nipple as deeply as possible into the shield, you want to pull the sides of the cone part of the shield back and leave the tip of the nipple shield about halfway so that it's even with the sides like this. The way that I find easiest to do this is by inverting the entire nipple shield, placing it on a flat surface and punching your fingertip through it. It automatically puts it at about a halfway inversion that is even with the edges of the bottom of the cone of the shield like this. Then you just place it right over the nipple tip, stretch it some, place it nice and even. Some parents will use water on the wings of the nipple shield to help seal better. But if you're not careful, that can get very slippery. So here you'll see how we avoided the base of your nipple, which is that second black line, and the edge of the cone of the shield made contact with your areola. When your baby latches, their lips should be flared out so that their gums can land where the nipple shield shaft starts to angle at the wings of the shield. If your baby's gums are any more shallow than that, they can start to pinch the tip of the nipple, which hurts and prevents enough milk from coming out. Ideally, the gums will be at the very base of the nipple shield shaft. So when baby sucks, they're compressing your areola gently, not your nipple. If you have scabs or blistering at the tip of your nipple and you use a nipple shield, it can actually pull through the holes and re-injure you. To remove the shield, simply peel it off or break the suction. 